What's up everyone, I'm Steven Harrell with Tiny House Listings and today I'm here shooting this video for you guys here in the Tiny House Listings new facility uh, we, where we are manufacturing very affordable tiny houses. And you know, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, the need for affordable housing throughout the country, throughout the United States and certainly in other countries as well, uh, is greater now than it's ever been. I could get into a lot of stats with you guys to talk about the prices of uh, housing rising and inflation and all kinds of things that are uh, volatile, I would say right now. Uh, and I don't want to bore you with all those stats, but I think we all know, we all kind of feel the fact that people, the average, average folks, you know, middle class and that type of thing are being stretched more and more. And um, it's never been truer that housing is a big part of that. Um, if you look at the stats, a lot of people, and I don't want to get into the stats, but a lot of people are becoming renters instead of uh, homeowners. And we all know that used to be considered part of the American dream, owning your own home. Uh, but certainly here in Wilmington, North Carolina, just about everywhere you go, I just see massive amounts of apartment buildings being just crammed in, like where they're just mowing down woods and putting up apartment uh, facilities. And you know, I was thinking about it, tiny houses, they use traditional real estate, and then there is rentals, and somewhere in between I would consider a tiny house. Because at least with a tiny house, you own the home, and uh, it's a good entry level home that will actually get you away from the rat race or the trap of renting indefinitely. And you know if you look at the models behind us uh, we're only creating one model here at the tiny house listings facility and we are perfecting it and um, if you look at the specs and we'll do future videos lots of future videos on what it is we're building which will be available very very soon in November sometime um, it is the result these homes are the result of about 13 years which is how long I've been in, involved in the tiny house movement I've been here since the beginning um, it's about 13 years of development where we have looked at, believe it or not, over 3 million data points um, that we've collected through all sorts of nerdy computer stuff over the years. And we feel like the tiny house that we are building here is the perfect tiny house that addresses the needs and wants and layout and price and everything for uh, the person who wants to move into and live in a tiny house. So this particular tiny house solves three things, one being the layout, the needs, uh, exactly what it is most people were looking for in a tiny house, the price, um, the reason we are able, and again, we're gonna do a whole video on the tiny houses that we're building soon. We're able to bring the cost down of a new tiny house versus other builders out there by almost 40 to 50% uh, cheaper. And the reason that is, we are going to be building a lot of them. So quite frankly, the profit that we make on each particular one doesn't need to be as much as other people. And another thing is we can build these very, very quickly. And again, I'm getting into this more than I wanted to. And we really mostly want to talk about how affordable housing right now in 2022 is more important than ever because there is an extreme lack of it. So again, I've been involved in the tiny house movement for 13 years. There really was no marketplace. There was no market actually for tiny houses before I launched tiny house listings back in 2010. Uh, so it's been really interesting to see tiny houses grow, the entire movement, the market for them, the demand for them, and like I've said now, more so than ever, the need for them. Uh, tiny houses are solving housing issues for a lot of people in a lot of different demographics, a lot of different situations. I believe it's way better to live in a home that is much smaller that you own versus living in a home that is much larger that you can't afford or an apartment that you pay rent on indefinitely. So this was just a really quick and short video. I wanna see what everyone who's watching this video thinks. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. Do you think tiny houses solve a need for affordable housing, especially now more than ever? All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.